Hello everyone. I hope that you all had a lovely relaxing weekend. I had a nice relaxing weekend planting some plants. And I've planted one of the magnolia trees in the front garden and I've got the back one yet to plant. And I already have one flower that has opened up on the magnolia tree. I was so delighted when I opened the blinds yesterday morning and just seeing that one magnolia flower just looking as if to say i'm here hi <laughs> i was like that is the best thing ever there's just something magical about it the slope has been taken out and i now am the proud owner of three lovely little steps and <laughs> they have totally changed the look of the space i mean it really is a work in progress the garden so when it's all done i'll be more than happy to share with you it's not a huge garden i think some of you may think from the content that I've created that the garden is humongous. It's not. It is only a very small garden. We have quite a large front garden, but only a small back garden, just big enough for our garden furniture. And now that the death traps have gone, I've got a little tiny bit more space, but I'm going to leave Lee to decide what he wants to do with that. That's on him. I have just used my new little makeup bag that Ellie Ellie made this for me. So when they went to Thailand, Ellie is all these girlfriends, and when they went to Thailand, she bought me this gorgeous little bookmark. And how mad that she's come home. I mean, my mum would love her so much being able to create something like this. It's even lined. Like, I've never been able to do anything like this, but look, it matches. How nice is that? It's got it's even got the... <laughs> this amazed me, honestly. Ellie trained in university for something completely different than dressmaking or, you know, clothes making, curtain making. My mum was a seamstress, so the only way that I know how to refer to something like this is a seamstress. But she made this just herself. Fully lined. It's got the little tab for you to hold to close your zip. I was like, Ellie... That is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I was like, thank you so much. I I love that. As you know, I have my makeup in a, a plastic sandwich box and I got my case, which is here, from Timu. And this is quite large. Great if you're going on holiday or you're going away for the weekend or you've got makeup or skincare that you want to store away in a nice dark place. This is perfect for that. But for everyday use, I have the most gorgeous little makeup bag that Ellie made for me and I love it. So I'm going to take you downstairs and let you have a little look at our new steps in the garden, which I love. I really love them. I mean, we need to clean up. Leaves off work today, so he's pottering around in the garden. We're going to clean out some of the pots because when the landscapers were here, the garden got so dirty and so dusty. And when I say dusty, I mean like dust everywhere it's taken me three days to clean the utility for floor where they had to come through the garage and through the utilities to get to the back of the house it's took me three days so lee's doing the garden but it's getting there with these little small steps that were taken it's gradually becoming our garden and with the extra little plants that i'm planting i feel like we are really making it ours lee's gonna start jet washing this but as you can see there is dust everywhere and i mean everywhere so while lee is jet washing the back i'm going to zoom in and let you see that one little magnolia petal which is just there it's drooped a little bit because it has been raining quite a bit but to see that one flower i'm like so happy i do have a little tiny bit of content on my phone of what the ramp looked like before and then the jaw and I think I got a little tiny clip of it when they'd taken the ramp out so I'll include them now while Lee's doing the jet washing and then when it's all done and nice and clean I'll show you what the steps look like I'm so happy with them as soon as Lee's done in the garden I will take it outside and show you what the steps look like but it's been a huge task trying to sort the garden out. I know I've been a little bit cryptic when I talk about the garden but it took, I, I did mention, hello, say hello to everyone, you've got your back to everybody's already being rude. I'm not rude mum. Because I'm sat on the floor, 
the insulin I think it's playtime. I'm not playing. I'm, t I'm talking. Go and, go and find your balls then. Go and find your balls or your babies and I'll play with you. No, you find them. I'm not finding them, you find them. Anyway, back to the ditch. I had a seven foot ditch in the garden and it is, it's not a ditch, I'm just calling it a ditch. <laughs> it's 15 foot long, it's 10 foot wide and it was seven and a half foot deep. And I cannot be happier to know that that's gone. It's no longer there. Not, not making much sense when I shared it, but it was slap bang on the right hand side of the garden. And all of like the hydrangea bushes and everything were this side and I'm too scared to, you know, go traveling through there just in case there's anything there. But it has taken 18 tons of hardcore to fill it. 18 tons. They counted 660 something wheelbarrows right through the side of the house to get filmed so you can imagine the dirt and the mess that that's created it's created a couple of loose tiles tiles paving slab paving slabs i don't know what they're called those those them anyway whatever they're called on the floor of the back garden <laughs> i go awful stupid when this camera comes on but it's created a little bit of movement in some of them so they're a little bit wobbly so we're just going to wait for the hardcore to settle in the ground because 18 tons is a lot we're going to wait for that to settle uh, i mentioned it to lee before because he's out there now jet washing finding where the issues are because some of the things he can do himself and some things he can't do himself so we're going to get the landscapers back in to do a little bit of patching up with the garden and then hopefully it will all look nice and, oh no, it's just sat looking at me just to say, Mum, who are you talking to? I wish you could see. I'm going to spin the camera around and he'll probably move as soon as he sees me move. But look at this face. He looks so confused about who I'm talking to or what the conversation's about. He's like, you wouldn't happen to be talking to me, would you, Mum? Because if you are, I'll gladly engage in conversation. You look like a little poster boy, don't you? Hi, don't you look like a poster boy? <laughs> me, Mum, was you talking to me all along? I'm going to take it your way. <laughs> Sweetheart. Lee's just finished jet washing, so I can show you what the steps are looking like. And I have to say, they are so much better than the ramp. I am thrilled a bit with that. The dogs can manage it so much better. Peg can get down them, but you can't get up them. But it's just so much easier than the ramp and it looks better. And then this is all hardcore, but you may remember me saying I couldn't get to deadhead the, da the hydrangeas. These are right here and all of the soil is here. So, there was no way of being able to get to them to deadhead them, but I can do it perfectly now. Do you remember how blue the hydrangea bush was when I purchased it from Marks and Spencers? It's turning pink. <laughs> it is turning <laughs> pink. <laughs> yes, I don't know what you're shouting at. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these dogs this morning. <laughs> dogs think I've gone crazy. But it's turned pink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you it now. Funny thing is, I was in Marxies the other day with Ollie and they had just taken stock of the most gorgeous pink hydrangea bushes and I was like, have I got a spot for it? <laughs> don't know whether they have, don't know whether they have, I'm just gonna have a little thing on it. So I was like, I'll just have a little thing on it because I wanna find the perfect space to put one if I'm gonna buy one. And then I just forgot about it. Well, it's a good job because mine are definitely turning pink. And then last night I was lying in bed and Ollie sent me this video. No sé qué pasó, que no contestas mis... It just about sums me up at the moment. Those hydrangeas were blue and purple when I got them from Marks and Spencers. They are definitely, that's bright pink, that's bright pink, this is tan and pink, that's tan and pink from blue. So it's definitely down to the soil that I've potted them in, but I love that.
This is a new little bleeding heart that Annette got me for this pot. So I'm going to get that planted up today because I've got lots of extra soil. Plus I need to put the azaleas to this pot. And I also need to find the perfect spot for the magnolia tree. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to leave Lee sorting the garden out and I'm going to nip to home bargains because we have an ant problem. <laughs> And I've never, ever had ants before. So I've got no idea where to start. Plus, I don't want to use anything that could harm the dogs. So I need to pick up some bits from Home Bargains and go and see if I can find some type of deterrent to stop the ants coming in to the house. They're in the hall and they're in the porch. So I think you can get like little bait boxes that are safe where there's dogs. So... I'm going to go and do a little bit of research in home bargains and see if I can find something that will stop them. I'm back from home bargains. I didn't buy a single plant. I bought a plant pot <laughs> and I bought some soil and some ericaceous soil, but I didn't buy a single plant. Not one. From what I can see in Home Bargains and b &M, you can't buy an ant killer or an ant stopper that isn't toxic to pets. So I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research online and see if I can come up with anything to try and stop the ants from coming in. Obviously, I'll block the holes up and that will help hugely. But other than that, I've no idea. My favourite little purchase is this 19.99 how nice is that i want to get a lovely plant for this <laughs> i don't know what plant but i just thought that is so nice so i've got a new vase 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 <laughs> planter i've got a new planter the rest is just stuff that is not even slightly interesting how could i say there was nothing else remotely interesting in my little home bargains haul yesterday when the best thing that I purchased I didn't even share and I cannot tell you how much joy it brings me when I look out my when I look out of my window and I see the best purchase I have ever made from home bargains. It makes me smile and you're gonna get it completely. I've got a dead tree in the garden and even though the tree is dead, it's kind of wrapped a little bit in ivy and I still feel really, really sad that this tree has died. It had died long before we moved in. It's probably been dead for a few years, but I'm devastated it's a dead tree because to me, it looks like a magnolia tree and it's wrapped in ivy. Whether the ivy has strangled the tree, I don't know, but I purchased little hanging fairies to hang in the tree and I also purchased a little red robin to hang in the tree and <laughs> honestly I wish I could take you outside in the garden and show you just how gorgeous they are but the weather is appalling. They're Ina. Yai Tringer in Me and my Norwegian. Well anyway, let me show you the most amazing little purchase from Home Bargains. A little hanging fairy here, a little hanging fairy here and a little robin red breast and they just swing and turn round they're on like a little elasticated chains so they do spring up and down in fact let me show you it is raining bad but how cute are they oh love them is that not just the cutest love it so much. I am so in love with those. They're just little metal fairies, but I'm in love. They were £1.99 each. And I keep saying to Lee, I can't cut that tree down. There's a little bit of me that goes, that was a magnolia tree. What do you think it was? Let me show you. I definitely think that that was a magnolia tree. I don't know whether it's anything to do with this lowest branch being cut, but... It's well and truly dead, but it's such a lovely tree. And I think wrapped in little fairy lights, it will look absolutely lovely. But I just feel sad having to cut it down. Postman's just knocked and delivered a lovely 
new little blouses for me to wear. Well, I haven't bought this, Lee has bought this for me, so let's get the package open and have a little a little look at it. I think this brand, White Fox, is owned by oh gosh, who's White Fox owned by? She's an Australian YouTuber. Uh, Sarah's Day. Sarah's Day. I'm pretty sure White Fox is owned by Sarah because her little boy's called Fox. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, they're really nice. And they're nice and long in the leg length as well. And I've got a 34 inside leg, so I've got quite long legs. And sometimes with the legs of Zara joggers, they look like three quarter joggers on me. They end up halfway up my legs somewhere. So I just roll them up and, you know, try and make them look like they're meant to be a little bit shorter. But they look like they will fit perfect. I ordered a size small in the joggers. I'm usually a size 10. I get a size extra small in Zara joggers. So I'm hoping that they will fit nice. And that looks nice and oversized as well. I think I've got an extra small in the jumper. I've got a small in the jumper as well. So it's just gonna be a nice, comfy. I love that colour. For spring and summer, that colour is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that is so nice. I'm like, do I wanna try it on now? Let's try it on. I definitely could have got away with an extra small. Not that I'm tiny by no means, I'm an average, UK size 10, so I feel like I could have easily got an extra small. I've rolled the waist over once. <laughs> the good thing is with this little tracksuit, it'll shrink perfectly in the tumble dryer. I don't know what is going on with my hair today. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered doing the whole wash and blow dry this morning. I have to just say as well, I wouldn't wear them together. <laughs> So I'll wear the joggers with like a nice little vest or a t-shirt in the warmer weather and the hoodie I will wear with leggings. I don't think I can actually carry on with my hair like this so I'm going to go upstairs and do something that I haven't done ever in this house. Ever, ever. And that is, I mean, I'm sure I'm not alone when I do this. Throw your head over the bath and wash your hair. And I wish I'd have just done it in the shower this morning. It would have been so much easier. But I'm going to just go and chuck my head over the bath and wash my hair with the shower and show you the shampoo that I've been using. It is a lovely shampoo. But before we go upstairs, let me introduce you to my spring cleaning. Woof! Woof! Nearly dropped them then. My spring cleaning wax melt box sets. These, these are unreal. I've got them burning around the house. I've got one on the fireplace, one in the utility, one in the hall and one in the living room. They smell unreal. Let me tell you what the fragrances are. Finished the spring cleaning box sets about four days ago when I finished doing the spring clean in the house. And they are a gorgeous set of wax melts. There's three sets, just like my other box sets, like the spring discovery box sets. There is Linen Bliss. Spring has sprung, which is gorgeous, and Fortune Fresh. Fortune Fresh is juniper, juniper berries, lemon, and then like a lovely, fresh, clean undertone. Like it smells so clean. The Spring has sprung is a very patchouli, jasmine, amber based fragrance that just smells crisp and clean. Then the Linen Bliss is exactly what it says. It smells like fresh, clean laundry, but with a nice little luxury smell to it. So that is my little spring cleaning box set of wax melts. They are available on the website. I can actually smell the melts through the boxes, but I've got my, <laughs> my dining room smells gorgeous. Look at this. How gorgeous do all those colours look together? But let me show you what I was working on this morning. It has been a busy old morning, but the tropical retreat box set all the boxes are all ready. I just need to pop the melts in. But the Tropical Retreat isn't available yet. That's my summer box set that I'm currently working on. So as soon as that's available, I will let you know. But now, I'm going to take my gilet off because it's been so cold and wash my hair 
and this is the shampoo and conditioner that I was talking about. It is the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco. It's a repairing shampoo and conditioner. But these, oh my gosh, they are so nice. And it smells gorgeous. So I'm going to do a little strip off. Well, not a strip off. I'm taking my g -lay off and that's about it. And I'm going to throw my head over the bath and use the shower to wash my hair. You have got to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you do this. This is my first time ever doing it in this house. That will be my little reminder to never, ever skip hair washing day. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like my back has broken in two. Oh my word. Wow. <sighs> my back is broken. <laughs> I will never do that again, ever. Like me back shaking. I think my little Dyson air wrap is on its way out and I've only had it for a couple of years. I can no longer leave the little cover on the hairdryer or it just doesn't work so I have to pull it off and do my hair and I'm like so expensive to not last you know for years the way a hairdryer does. I think in my whole life I've only ever bought two hair dryers. that's how long they last. Whereas I feel like these type of hair dryers are just not made to last. I'm going to use the unique one. It's an all-in-one hair treatment. I swear by this. This stuff is amazing and it smells unreal. I do five sprays in my palm for around my roots. If I didn't use this, I wouldn't be able to get the hair brushed through my hair. And then the brush should go really easy through my hair. I created a little TikTok on how I use the Dyson era and get volume in my hair. I don't know whether you might have seen it. And believe it or not, that video of me using my Dyson Air app perform better than any of my other videos on TikTok. And yeah, I'm Tony Interior on TikTok as well. Bizarre, isn't it? But now I'm going to put you on a nice little fast time lapse and make it look like I do this in 10 seconds. <laughs> And there we have nice, fresh, <laughs> clean hair. Cannot recommend that shampoo enough. It is lovely. I mean, I do believe that this is what saves my hair every single time. I've used it for absolutely ages. And this is probably like the third bottle that I've had. And I've got about that much left in the bottle. And then I've got these to try because I don't have much of that shampoo left. I've got these to try. They're the same brand and they're still the Argan Oil of Morocco, but they're lightweight. So they're in white rather than the blue. So I got these on offer in, I think it was Asda or Tesco. I'm not sure which one it was, but that's where they're from. Cannot recommend them enough. They really do make your hair feel soft and clean which is what we want isn't it i'm not going to put my gilet back on i think i'm going to put a hoodie on i've got one there actually yeah i'm going to pop this on because it will be extra warm it is freezing and it's still raining outside 
When is the nice weather coming? Because I'm really looking forward to it. I will definitely not get cold with this on. There's just something about fresh clean hair, isn't there? Like, I've just washed all my hair and it's teeming down outside. So when I go out to the post office to drop the Etsy and the website holders off, I'm gonna get drenched. This has gotta be the quickest lunch ever. Spaghetti hoops on toast with a little sprinkle of cheese on my little tray. <laughs> so I can sit down all comfy and eat it. But I'm ready for it, it's actually quite late. Well, it's not late, it's 25 to one, but that's late for me. But I touched on it a couple of days ago when I, I mentioned how my sleeping patterns changed since we've moved into this house. And all I can say is, I'm a seven o'clock girl. I'm a half past six to seven o'clock. I've been sleeping in and I don't know what's coming over me, but I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving that. I'm no longer seeing 3am every morning and getting up before the birds even get up. I'm like, it's the best thing ever, honestly. I don't know whether it's to do with my hormones or that I'm, you know, settling into my hormones, even though we are six years in to being hormonal. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I am sleeping so much better and I'm loving it. I would love to know if you've enjoyed this vlog and if you prefer this style where it's just a little bit of everything that's been going on. I would love some feedback from you. I can see that you aren't really loving the gardening vlog. So, you know, I only want to publish content that you're going to enjoy. So if you enjoy this style of vlog, please let me know. And I'm going to end this here. I'm going to sit down and enjoy my spaghetti hoops on toast. So thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I will leave any links that I think you may be interested in in the description box down below. Have a little look there, like the hair treatment. If I can find the shampoo online, I'll link that. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Oh, look at that.